Alrighty, so let's give this a try. Hopefully you can hear everything okay. So, um, gonna talk a little soft. Wife and daughter are asleep. So, just for this purpose, I'll take this dots and I need to crack another one of these anyways. Um, and it has one post. One post, that way I don't have to do two to crack it open. So, as mentioned, I'll start with my 564s, which is the smallest one. And then I'll break the head off with the 530 seconds. Can't even see it on there. So you're gonna take your pilot drill bit like this one, it pretty much fits right in, right in the uh, little hole in the rivet. And you're just gonna drill down through. Um, try to see if you can keep tabs on the drill. I'll try, I'll try to keep it as still as I can. Um, slow to moderate speed, medium pressure, I would say. So here we go. Now you want to go reasonably deep because you, not too deep, just kind of got to get a feel for it. Uh, let's see if it'll focus. So yeah, can't really tell, but once I get it cracked open, you'll be able to tell a little better of how deep I go. So that part's done. Then we'll up to the 530 seconds. Again, you should be able to convert your metric to, to that. Now this part you wanna be a little careful with because if you drill too deep with this, you just want basically want enough to kind of start snapping that head off. Um, if you go a little too deep on it, um, you'll start drilling into the base and that could cause issues for the screw. So. And this, I prefer to do a little short burst. So like so, I'll show you. Again, just kind of moderate speed and light pressure. I start to see it crunch up. You're, you're gonna get this a lot the first couple times you do it and you'll get this mushrooming um, You can do two things you can take a mini screwdriver and pry it out of the way to get the base off or you can kind of keep going um, Maybe swivel the bit a little bit So it kind of go around again, you want to do it very gentle This one's being stubborn There we go. I got a good piece of it to fly off right there. And right now I'm using little to no pressure because I don't want to go any deeper. I just want to get that that remnant part of the head off so it comes out, so it snaps apart easier. There we go. That's kind of what it should look like. Kind of went into the base just a little bit, but that's okay. You just don't want to gouge out that hole much larger. Well, sometimes you can just pry these apart and sometimes you'll need a little screwdriver. Oh, this one came right apart. And again, this is a single post, so all you gotta do is snap that and then pull back. But most cars are two post. There's that. So here's there's the post. You can kind of see, it's hard to tell, but if you take the drill, the drill bit, kind of go in there a little bit, you can kind of see how, I'm trying to show you how deep I go, how deep I went in there. 
And I can already tell that I can go a lot deeper on this. If that's enough for you right now, you can turn it off, but I'll go ahead and show you the finished part. Okay. And this part is very important. You definitely want to make sure that you're going in straight. That's what we wanted right there. So you can see, if I had to guess, I'd say it's probably, I'd say it's probably maybe about that deep. And that, that should be plenty. The screws that you want to use are only going to be this big. That's one of the longer ones. I do have some of these too. Some of those tapered head ones. So uh, I use a mixture of both of them. Um, let me see how much time do I got left. Got about four minutes. I might be able to drill and tap this thing in the meantime. Well, actually, um, I'll go ahead and cut it off now. You can let me know how this works for you. Let me know if you have any more questions. Um, and then the the plastic ones, as far as getting the wheels off, this is really easy. The metal ones are quite a bit trickier. Because obviously you can't, it's not this simple. So, boom, and boom. All done, out. Now with the metal ones, you'll have to, you can do a couple of things with uh, with the metal ones. Um, let me see, I thought I had a metal base in here, but maybe not. Maybe on this Nova. So on the Nova, I was able to take a mini screwdriver and you can see where I grinded the back part, the back, this back little keeper right here. I was able to grind that away. And then I took a flathead and pried these ones forward. And then you can get the, you can get the wheels out of the metal base. Um, but some of them are quite tricky, so um, they're just stubborn. So anyways, let me know how that works out for you. Be happy to help out more and take more videos if needed. Talk to you later, bud.